relationships are meant to be a source of love support and spiritual growth but what happens when the person you love becomes a source of pain and confusion have you ever felt like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle of doubt and unhappiness in your relationship like time is slipping through your fingers and which each tick of the clock you're losing a bit more of yourself if you're feeling this way it is time to take a hard look at your relationship and ask yourself is it time to walk away in today's video we are going to explore five fake bait signs that it is time to leave your relationship so that you can honor your well-being and your work with god sign number one when there is competition in a healthy relationship your partner should complete you, not compete with you. The Bible teaches us in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 from verse 9 to 10 that two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. If you find that your partner is more interested in competing with you rather than supporting you, then it's a sign that the relationship is off balance. A God-centered relationship is built on mutual support and love, not rivalry and competition. If truly you want to compete with anyone in life for anything, that person should not be your partner. It should not be the person that you're in a relationship with. Don't compete with them over who earns more. Don't compete with them over who is smarter. Don't compete with them over who can do better or more. You're not in a race with your partner no you are meant to support each other complete your partner not compete with them sign number two when abuse is present abuse whether emotional physical spiritual is never acceptable hoping that an abusive partner will change with time is a dangerous gamble ephesians in chapter 4 verse 31 reminds us to get rid of bitterness anger rage brawling and slander along with every form of malice you are a precious child of god deserving of love and respect staying in an abusive relationship can cost you beyond what money can do it can cost you your life and when you are dead they will move on with another partner a lot of women especially i'm not saying that men do not endure abusive relationship men do endure abusive relationship but a lot of women in relationships today are keeping quiet containing the abuse for reasons that are so unthinkable please if he or she is abusing you it is a ground for you to leave that relationship leave the relationship before you die we have heard, we have seen a lot of people, great men and women. The one that hurts me the most is this powerful Nigerian singer. We all know, endured abuse till she lost a life. Imagine what your talent, what your gift can do in the world. You are not just on planet Earth to fill it up. No, you are here for a reason and a purpose. Don't let an abusive partner cut short your life don't let an abusive partner make you leave this as when it is not time for you to leave if you are being abused abused in any form please leave now trust god's plan for your life leave and seek help and healing and please do it immediately sign number three when you don't feel safe constant fear and anxiety about everything that you owed dear is a clear indication that something is definitely wrong the impact of feeling unsafe is multifaceted it affects mental physical behavioral social and spiritual health you know the word of god has a solution for every situation we find ourselves in psalms in chapter 56 verse 3 says when i am afraid I put my trust in the Lord. God's desire for you and I is to live in peace and security. And so if your relationship makes you feel unsafe, it is time to trust in God's protection and walk out of that relationship. 
If you're a child of God and you know who you are, among so many things that God has given you, you know that he has given you the spirit of boldness and of courage. If you're in a relationship with a person who makes you feel like you're nothing, who makes you fear your very self, who makes you fear your abilities, who makes you feel unsafe about who you are, about the promises of God concerning you, then is it really worth being in a relationship with that person? The next sign is actually the most important one. In fact, it should be the first on your mind. When your relationship is costing you your relationship with God and others, a healthy relationship should draw you closer to God, not pull you away. In Hebrews chapter 10 from verse 24 to 25, it encourages us to consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds. Not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. If your relationship is isolating you from your faith and loved ones, it is time to re-evaluate because God actually wants you to thrive in a community and grow spiritually. One of my favorite songs was sung by Ezekiah Walker and it is titled, I Need You to Survive. If you've not heard that song, please do. It says, I need you. You need me. We are all a part of God's family. We need one another to survive. I love this song so much because it just explains the core of humanity. You can't survive on your own. No, you can't do it on your own. If you can survive on your own, why are you even in a relationship with another person in the first place? We all need someone in our lives at every point in time. God will not come down from heaven and do the things that you want or you are praying for. He will always use someone. God uses human to bless humans. We need one another to survive. So if you're in a relationship with someone who isolates you from every other person, who isolates you from the God who has created you, is it really worth being in a relationship with that person? I think when you see this, you don't even need me or anyone or a counselor to tell you to walk away. Just do it. Be bold. Walk out on them. Sign number five is when you're losing focus and your passion and purpose in life. God created each and every one of us with gifts, with talents. If you're already questioning your existence and life because of the person that you are in a relationship with, if you don't know what to do again just because of the person you're in a relationship with, if you feel worthless and unable to live and survive and you're already thinking, what am I here on earth for just because of the relationship you're in, then through that, that relationship is not worth it. Your life is far more important than that relationship because your life has a purpose. Ephesians in chapter 2 verse 10 tells us that we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us. God has prepared a lot of good works, not just works, good ones and he's done that in advance for us. So if you're in a relationship with someone and they are making you feel like you're worth nothing, you cannot do anything, you know all of a sudden your, your, your goals your vision, you know, your hopes have been shattered and you feel like you are just there in that relationship for them and to serve them, then oh my, please walk out. I love this sentence from Gary Thomas's book, which says, sometimes to follow in the footsteps of Jesus is to walk away from others or let them walk away from us. Your relationship should inspire and support your God-given purpose. If you find that you're losing your passions and calling, it is time to seek a path that aligns with God's plan for you. I don't know about you, but one of the greatest joys of any partner in a relationship, any kind of relationship, whether it is um, even a business relationship, is to see that your partner is doing so well, that they are excelling in their giftings and in their purpose. No normal and right thinking human should watch their partner 
fill up their giftings, their talents, their skills, their callings, all in the name of being in a relationship with them. Walking away from a relationship is never, ever easy. But sometimes it is the most faithful decision you can make. Yes, you are aging. Yes, everyone around you is in a relationship. They're having children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. You know, they are showing off their spouse and their love. It is better to wait to be alive than to be sorry or dead. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more faith-based insights. Trust in God's guidance. Recognize these signs. And remember that you are worthy of love, respect, and a life that honors your faith. And remember with God by your side, every ending is just the beginning of something greater. I'm not going to let you go without sharing the word of God with you. So let's look at what God has to tell us in the book of Psalms in chapter 34 from verse 17 to 18. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirits.